Hello, this is Mesh, and welcome to this Alien Covenant review. So this is a spoiler review, I repeat, spoiler review. I've had a few technical issues over the last few days, so I thought I'd skip the quick spoiler-free review and jump straight into the full, full review. Okay, so without further ado, on to the review. So to set the scene, when I went to the movies, and my attitude towards Alien Covenant. I entered the movie with high hopes, but not, I think, unrealistic. I know many movies in the Alien franchise, for me, I consider them near masterpieces, and they will always be struggled to live up to. But for, when I watched the trailer for Alien Covenant, they looked good. They seemed to be on track for something special, fresh, but with ties to the older movies. Initially, the first scene around the spaceship and the discovery of the planet, I thought that was going okay. But around the middle of the movie, I lost all hope. I no longer cared and was bored. All in all, I was pretty disappointed with Alien Covenant. Now, I've had to think about why. Why was I so disappointed? What happened? Because visually, the movie was pretty good. The action sequences were good. There were scary, tense times in the aliens, and there was quite a bit of gore, and this was good acting. So what did I want from this movie that wasn't in here? So I was having to think about it, and a few points I would, I would raise would be, so from the original Alien, the fear of the alien where well, all hope is lost. You can never defeat this creature. All you can do is hide. I wanted the pace of the Aliens movie with the action sequences and the fight scenes and the awesome tech and the weapons and the memorable characters and a memorable script. I wanted to know what happened to the engineers. I wanted to know the history of the engineers from Prometheus. I wanted a continuation of the story around David and Elizabeth, something which I think that there was that was really required. And I'm sorry to say, I didn't get any of these areas delivered well at all. We had a smidge of action, but it was pretty forgettable, to be honest. And we did get to see what happened, what David did, uh, which closes the chapter on Prometheus. But for me, none of these points were really utilized enough within this movie. Okay, so let's go in depth about some you know, plot lines and some major spoilers. So once again, this is a spoiler review. So as I said, initially, the pacing of the movie, I thought it was going quite well. I enjoyed the spaceship scene. I thought that was pretty cool. Some cool characters being introduced. The initial exploration of the planet, that was pretty cool. And disregard the really stupid decisions that the characters made. Example, example A would be, let's visit this previously never explored planet. Bring no breathing apparatus. Hmm, one of these strange, dangerous looking fungus spore type things. I know, I'll stick my face really close to one and poke it. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, so just things like that always take you out of the immersion of the movie. So the initial aliens introduction scene, so when we saw the aliens coming out of the humans, that had a real shock value and it was pretty cool. It was quite gory and it was definitely a tense scene. The initial battle with the two aliens seemed to be building up to something cool as well. But then I think as soon as David entered the story, as soon as he fired that flare gun, for me, everything stalled in this movie. So it was really a downhill spiral, in my opinion, from that scene on. So we go into the scene where it was the engineer's base or the engineer's town. We had a lot of strange scenes, uh, characters going over the same plot multiple times, um, a kind of a loss of pacing with the whole movie, skipping obvious issues. No one's mentioning this, these strange aliens and the strange civilization. What's going on? You know, just more stupid decisions of people going off by themselves when there's aliens everywhere. Um, David's motives and behavior, pretty, yeah, uh, many strange things with that one. Don't, don't get me wrong, I think Michael Fassbend Fassbender did a really good acting job, and I really think he's a good actor, but I thought the script he had was not good at all for him. So when they left the alien facility, so the characters moved on, they got picked up, things definitely picked up then. Uh, there was a lot more action sequences, but the thing is, at that, by that point, I'd lost interest in the characters. I didn't feel like I cared if they lived or died. Um, and that was, you know, as soon as that happens, you know the movie's, something gone wrong with this movie. So there was also a bit of a lack of aliens. I mean, we had four, um, four main ones, a few other things here and there, but for the most part, there was four. Um, lack of the, com you know, combat versus the aliens. Not bad action scenes on the cargo ship. I thought that was done quite well. Um, but I guess... Towards the end, when we see the characters flush the aliens out of the airlock, uh, you know, was it just a remin reminiscing of old times? I don't know, but 
they could have thought of something else, I think. I don't know why you'd want to do that again. Catherine Waterson, Waterson did a good job as Daniels. She was probably my favourite character. But, you know, once again, her script, how predictable the characters were, how predictable the ending was, especially regards their android swapping. I guess another point I want to raise is, is quite, quite annoying about this movie, how it seems to be that with Prometheus, and now with Alien Covenant, it's almost building up to the point where now we have this story, we can now get a proper movie. And that's not right. So the concept now that we have colonists, or thousands of colonists, um, ready to f fight a struggle against an alien infestation, that's what I wanted to start. Just do that from the start. Um, I don't know why they've gone down this road, because they seem to have gone back and forth. Maybe they were trying to come back from Prometheus because it wasn't well received. But from the start, all they should have done was give us a base story around a colony population struggling versus an alien infestation. So we have lots of aliens, lots of humans trying to survive. Even calling in the colonial marines as backup would be an amazing scene. Imagine that. Imagine a scene where untrained humans are fighting aliens and losing battle, and all of a sudden you get the most badass colonial marines rock up and save the day. That would be amazing. Why? Ah, uh, yeah. That's all I want. <laughs> but no one gets anywhere near it. So, I mean, there's so much potential with the next movie which will come from this, but... In all honesty, I think maybe Ridley, let someone else do it. I've really appreciated many of his movies he's done, but I don't know, I think he's I think he's lost it with these ones. Prometheus had some major flaws, but I tried to accept that was a staging film to this story arc. But this movie has closed the door on that as well. So once again, it's another avenue that's now closed around the engineers and, and trying to um, figure out the evolution of mankind and where we came from so that they, they close the door on that so it's really bouncing back and forth it's really hard to gauge where they're going to go with this so i think i should probably stop here as my thoughts are starting to devolve into pretty angry pejorative thoughts so let me just do a quick pros and cons to summarize and then we'll just wrap it up so pros with this movie alien covenant cg was really good there were some really good gore scenes and it was quite intense around those school scenes as well. The initial exploration of the planet and the spaceship, I liked that part. The first few scenes, the first, uh, it was, was pretty good. The acting, there was some good acting in this movie. Not across the board, but there's definitely some actors uh, that hit, hit the mark spot on. The scenery um, was pretty good as well. I thought that was definitely fitting of a uh, very barren, ominous world that they were in. Pretty cool. The new Alien, it was okay. Um, I didn't have a major problem with it. I thought it, it, it worked. Okay, now probably onto the cons already, and there's not many pros there. So no engineer information, no further information around the engineers. We saw them wiped out on their planet, but not much else. There might be a few Easter eggs here and there, but seeing the movie once over, it's hard to pick up those things. Not enough aliens. So we've only had four major ones there. I didn't think that was enough. Of the possibility of having a lot more. Did we require a new alien type? I don't think so. I think it would be better to keep them with Alien 3 and the Alien, and the alien games as well. Alien vs Predator games. You see the aliens. They're still very similar to um, the, the normal one. But their traits are changing. They just have slightly different... Um, traits based on what they've come from but then obviously David was tinkering with them so that's kind of makes sense a little bit there that we've got some dramatic differences the life cycle of the aliens I don't think that was right I think that was far too quick and once again you could argue that this is because David's been tinkering with them and changing how they how they grow what they become and maybe he's sped up that life cycle but it just seems it goes from a face hugger to chest burster to full grown in like five minutes. Stupid humans, yes, there's quite a few in this one. Um, just stupid decisions, kind of annoying. Uh, the script, forgettable characters, concentrating on the androids and the androids around where they came from. I mean, I understand what he's doing. I, I guess, well, I have my interpretation of what I think he's, he's trying to achieve. 
around AI and how AI is going to outsmart and kill humans and things like that. I love those ideas, but I just don't think it's required. It just doesn't need to be in an Aliens movie. You know, we went down the engineer storyline. We should have kept going down that line um, with, from Prometheus. I think that would have been the benefit out of, out of using that Prometheus stuff. Uh, David, whilst once again acting was really good by him to portray those two characters as well as he did, I just think the script was bad and and the characters, what they were trying to achieve with that wasn't very good as well. The story of Elizabeth Shaw, pretty disappointing that she went from an awesome um, actress in the Prometheus movie and just we didn't, I mean obviously she, she might not have signed up to it or, or whatever, who knows what the circumstances were. But just to have her killed off like that without anything else was pretty disappointing. A lot of plot holes. Um, yeah, and that's probably a good con section there. So finish off with the plot holes, just all over the place. So all in all, it was an average movie with many flaws. But the thing is, you know, if I'd gone to see it and there was no Alien franchise, I probably would have come away saying, oh, that was okay. But that's the problem. It's set in a world and a franchise that has amazing movies. And it's, it's the thing. Previous movies within this franchise are perfect, amazing examples of genre-defining cinematography. You know, people that love the movies and the games and the novels, myself included, we set the bar so high. And in a way, I wish these, in a way, I wish Ridley had done a whole bunch of sci-fi movies not in the alien world. Then we wouldn't be so harsh on these movies. But also, we still need to be realistic and try and see these movies for what they are. So all in all, pretty disappointed I was. I would probably say I wouldn't recommend going to the movies to watch this. Definitely if you're a fan of the franchise and it comes on TV and you want to have a look, see what they've done with it, it's worth a look because there's some interesting scenes and interesting ideas there. But yeah, have you watched this movie? What are your thoughts? Let me know your comments below as always and sub for future content for myself and thumbs up if you enjoyed this review it will help me out. So I'll leave this here. I hope I've not been too negative. I tried to stay positive and see the good side and it definitely has some good sides in this movie. But yeah, honestly for me, it definitely missed the mark. But I'll leave this video here. So until next time, this is Mish and I'll see you later.